Hello, elementary parents. I am Dr. Penny Packer Hill, and I am your elementary school principal this school year. I hope you've had a wonderful summer and are looking forward to a fantastic school year. Um, in this video, I'd like to talk with you about a few things um, as we enter this school year. So first, I'd like to thank you for your strong partnership with our school. Uh, your involvement in your child's education makes a significant difference in their overall success and well-being here at school, and we're just so grateful for your collaboration. Regular communication between home and school provides valuable insights into your child's progress and helps us better understand their unique challenges and their strengths. So there are numerous ways to stay engaged with school throughout the school year, and I'm gonna review some of those. Our learning communities will send home weekly newsletters, both digitally and um, hard copy, and that will cover what your child learned throughout the week and also have information about upcoming events and logistics or ways to provide support in the classroom. There will also be nightly home reading and homework that you can engage with your child, and that's a great way to stay in touch with what your child is learning at school and how they're doing with their content that they're learning um, throughout the school year. Also, your child's teacher will get you connected to Seesaw, and that's an app where you can see pictures um, of what's happening in the classroom and student work throughout the week. And it's just another awesome way to stay connected with your child's learning. You can also join our parent-teacher organization, and through that you can volunteer in a variety of ways and also build connections with other families across our school. Another thing I would like to suggest is following PK Young on social media. So this helps you stay updated with the K-12 school community and all things that are PK. Uh, last but not least, one of my favorite ways to stay connected to our school is to watch our elementary morning show. This is a show produced by our fifth grade patrols and it covers all things elementary student life at PK and also connects into secondary as well. We release new episodes each week and you can subscribe to PK's YouTube channel to get notified each time our morning show comes out. All right, so additionally, I'd like to emphasize the importance of regular school attendance. Uh, each day that your child is present with us in our classrooms uh, means that they get to become active participants in learning and growing, and it's just such a special thing for all of us to be a part of. In addition to the benefits for students, it also helps our teachers because our teachers conduct research um, since we're a developmental research school, and so the, our teacher's work is enhanced when our students are here, and it allows the teachers to consistently collect school data um, related to teacher research interest. So being a developmental research school, our school's mission is to design, test, and disseminate, disseminate innovations in education, and all of this is dependent on students who attend school regularly and participate. Okay, now I'm gonna transition a little bit to talk about drop-off. So drop-off at school begins at 7.30, and this is when the school gates will open, breakfast will be offered if your student needs to get breakfast, the playground and court will be opened for playtime, and student supervision begins at that time. Student safety is one of our utmost priorities. So ensuring that your child is supervised at drop-off and before school is critical to us. So while in the past, gates to the school were open prior to 7.30, this school year gates will be open at 7.30 and that's when student supervision will begin. School then starts at eight, as you know, and at eight o'clock, that's when the teachers will start their morning meeting. Please make sure that you have your student arrive to school prior to eight. 
because then this gives them playground time, um, time to grab breakfast if they need to, and it allows them to start morning meeting feeling calm and they're able to then be in community with their classmates and their teacher at eight o'clock. If you do happen to arrive later than eight, remember uh, that your child will be marked tardy and that then you can drop your child off at the front circle up until 8.15. So after 8.15, you'll need to head to the front office um, at the secondary building and check your child in there. And Mr. Matt, our gate guard, will help remind you about all of these logistics if you happen to arrive late. And then in the afternoon, you have a couple of options for pickup. Your child can be picked up at the front circle um, they could go to Blue Wave after school, or they can be checked out from the teacher by a sibling who drives. Either way, just please make sure that the teachers know what your child's pickup plan is each day. And so at 2.45 or at 1 o'clock on Wednesdays, uh, teachers will take students who have not been picked up to the front office because then the teachers have to get to their afternoon meetings and then you as families will pick your child up there at the front office. Okay, so that's it. Um, thank you for all that you do to entrust us with your child's education. And I hope to see you at Blue Wave Preview on August 9th. Um, remember kindergarten is at 11 and then first through fifth grade is at 12. And we look forward to a fantastic and rewarding school year ahead.